The Greek word for firstborn is prototokos. Tokos has to do with begetting. Begetting. Proto is first. So prototokos is the first begotten. The first begotten. Proto is first. It's from proto. I have told you this in the early days of this mystery. That is from the word proto. You are protocol. Protocol. Prototype. <laughs> prototype, protocol, and which other proto? Some other kind of proto there, or protos there. But tokos, tokos has to do with beget, begetting, having, be, bringing forth. So the first one is the first brought forth, the first begotten, the first, be, the first that comes forth. And naturally, it is a biological experience, but when it comes to the Christian experience, it becomes a mystery that is spiritual. A mystery that is spiritual. Look at Colossians. Colossians chapter 1. This is where we have been. Colossians chapter 1, and verse 15 to 18. Colossians chapter 1, verse 15 to 18. He is the Christ, the Son of God, Jesus, the Messiah. He is the image of the invisible God. Read the next one to go. The, come on, read everyone. Go. No, no, no. Everyone go. The prototokos over all creation. The firstborn over all creation. Now, it is, it, is, it is something we don't have the time. It's not the context to teach. It's the firstborn over all creation. So, if one is not careful, he, he can bring Christ and reduce him to the level of the understanding of when we say, that your, your son, Ed Young, is your first, your firstborn in the order of the biological. And so when we say firstborn, Jesus Christ as firstborn, until you have the understanding of the mystery, you will make a mistake of thinking that he is the firstborn in terms of the order of nature or natural birth, that he was born first. Like there was a time he was not. Then he became, come on, listen to, did you hear that? That if you are not careful, you make that mistake. Of thinking that there was a time that he was not, because there was a time you were not. There was a time you were not, right? And then you were brought forth as tokos, as the one brought forth. And so, there is never a time that Christ was not. So, we are not talking about Christ in, as firstborn in the order of natural begetting. Look at what the scripture, two, two, two scriptures refer to him as firstborn. One is firstborn from the dead. Firstborn from the dead. This one is firstborn over what? All creatures. So, it is, you have to understand it in a mystery that he is firstborn not in the order of one who had never been coming forth. The scripture is talking about firstborn over all creation. In order to understand this a little bit further, let's go to John chapter 1 from verse 1. Let's just go through the, the, the line, the, po the, po the poem <laughs> about, so to say, about the word. Say, In the beginning was the word, and the word was, was God. And the word was God. Next verse. He was in the beginning with God. Now, go back. Go back to verse 1. Go back to verse 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was what? God. The word in the beginning here, in the Greek sense of it, is not really understood as the beginning as we see, as we hear it is deeper than just saying in the beginning like the beginning of the day, the beginning of the time. For you to understand that if you look at that thing, we'll say, in the beginning was the world and the world was with God and the world was God. God did not begin with the beginning. And for you to understand this further, next verse, next verse, come on. He was in the beginning with God. Next verse, come on, next verse. All things, say all things, were made through him. 
So everything that came to be that had never been came to be through him. So he never began. He oversaw the beginning. So when the scripture says firstborn over all creation is not like one who had never been then eventually was before creation. Was. But this is talking about firstborn as a mystery in the order. Now, that is how you will understand what I have been telling you about the meaning of Proctocos. That firstborn means the first one. It means the best one. It means the chief one. It means the foremost one. It means the leading one. It means the most important one. It means one who is above. So what the scripture is saying that he is one who is above all creation. He's the one who leads all creation. He's the one who rules over all creation. He is chief over creation. Chief over creation. Above creation. Ahead of creation. In front of creation. Before creation, he was there. And it was by him and through him that creation came to be. Having laid this foundation, let's use the next 30 minutes and do something at a different level. I want to share with you the fundamentals of the firstborn experience. The fundamentals of the firstborn experience. The fundamental of the firstborn experience. I want to give you very basic things. When we talk about basic, fundamental, we are talking about elementary things, elemental, something that is just at the base, at the very foundation. The things that you could call, they constitute things, things uh, that will form foundation for things to be built upon. So let's, let's go further. Luke chapter 2, verse 39 to 40. So when they had performed all things, According to the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own city, Nazareth. We are talking about infants, Jesus. We are talking about the prototokos as an infant. We are talking about the one who is first born over all creation as a baby. We are talking about the one who is eventually known as the first born from the dead. The victor and the victory over death. But as an infant. So what I'm trying to say, Jesus began like that. So the firstborn experience begins little. Insignificant. Unnoticeable. Fragile. Helpless. This is the mystery. And pay attention to what God wants you to hear today. The scripture says, who despises the days of little beginning. Can you imagine the one that the scripture says, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God, and the word was God. Verse 14 of that John chapter 1 says, and the word became flesh. Sir, in eternity, the word is endless and eternal. He was. He is. And is to come. No growth. No increasing. No rising. He's perfect and total. But when he stepped into time, he had to come in the manner that would become a revelation to the future firstborns. That this is how we go through it. And you will never break the protocol. Let's go back to that scripture. Behold, I tell you a mystery. So when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord. All things according to the law of the Lord. The requirements of the law. That other ordinary babies. Ordinary infants. 
ordinary children had to go through, they were also performed over him. He broke no protocol, even though he was the protocoling of every protocol. He was the first of every first. He was the chief of every chief. The Lord of Lords. The King of Kings. God above gods. But everything written in the law concerning one that is born as the descendant of Jehovah in Israel that had to go through that. The son, the prototokos from eternity had to go through it. So when they had performed all things, say all things, all things required for a little girl to become a lady. All things required for a little boy to become a man. All things required for a single person to become married. All things required of an apparent apprentice to become a mistress or a master. All things required of a student to eventually graduate. Sir, you cannot use the Christian faith to cheat. So when people say they go to ATM without cards and take money and ATM will give them money, if you ask me if it happened, you were stealing it. You should return it. You should be arrested. Explain to us the level of criminality. <laughs> These things, we have to be careful of the things we put out there in the name of Christianity. We have to be very, very careful. We have to be very, very careful of the things we preach in the name of miracle and what message it gives, what impression it gives. I don't doubt miracle, but I'm just trying to say we have to be careful about the narrative of life. For Jesus brought life, mind, a way of life. He says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am what? The life. I said. So some people think they can just sow seed and they don't know basic laws of hygiene. They don't know basic laws of care and personal hygiene and environmental hygiene. Very basic laws of humanity in growth to become somebody's wife or husband and somebody's father or mother. And all you just do is just to speak in tongues and then sow seed and then the angel will do hygienic work, right? the work of hygiene. Sir, you have to go through fulfilling all the laws. Yeah. Because when we shout, for weeks we've been shouting prototokos, I am the first one, I am the chief one, I am the above one, the leading one. I am the most important one. The most important one has the protocol of becoming important one. When they had fulfilled all the law, according to all the law of the Lord, they returned, say returned. They returned after all the singing in church, after all the stuff we do in church, we have to return. They returned to Galilee and Galilee, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who walk in darkness. Oh my goodness. So we returned to the place of that, that place of insignificance, that place like nobody thinks you are anything and nothing really makes sense. They returned to their own city, Nazareth. Oh, Nazareth, where nothing good comes from? He returned. He did not stay in the temple. Verse 40. Oh, read this, verse 40. Everyone. 
Oh, this one we are going to stand. We are going to stand to read this one. I love it so much that everyone has to stand. When you are all standing, you let me know you are standing. Praise God. Then read it. One, two, go. Hallelujah. This is not Joseph. This is not David. We are not talking about Paul. We are not talking about Peter here. We are talking about the word that was in the beginning. The one by whom all, through whom all things were made. Without whom nothing came to be that has been or that is. This is, he grew. Child grew. Became. The word became the eternal one that did not have to become, but for our sake, it became. The child grew. He obeyed the principle of growth. In angels don't grow. No growth in heaven. No heavenly creature grows. But when any creature has come to become an earthly personality or being in a physical form, he must she must obey the principle of the earth. If the son of God obeys the principle of growth, sir, don't say anything. Just start growing. That's what I came to give you. So the fundamental basic principle about the prototokos life, the life of the firstborn as the above one, the ahead one, the one who is ahead of others, above others, before others, in front of others, the life of the firstborn as the one who is the first one, the best one, the chief one, the foremost one, the leading one, and the most important one. To become the most important one, the leading one, that you are in a pack, but everybody looks up to you. You are with others, but you are in front of others. You are first before others. You are best among others. You are chief among others. It's not by lobbying. It's not by befriending somebody. Young women will think it's by making up looking beautiful and wearing revealing dresses and seducing and sleeping with those who matter in order to break principle. Young men will think it's joining the, the hottest court and the most the cruelest of cults and be the worst of human beings to destroy and kill your way through. Sir, the way you kill through, you will be killed for another person to pass through. It does not go far. These are not the leading ones. The leading ones are the ones who grow in the principle of light and life. That is how it works. If the first one of God the best one of God, the one over all creation, over death, over all things, above all things, the first, for by him all things were made, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, all things were made to greater principalities of power, thrones, dominion, whatever it was, they were made through him and they were made for him and all things were created for him and he's before all things and in him all things are consist verse 18 come on and he is the head of the body the church was the beginning the first one from the dead that in all things he may have preeminence say preeminence that's the prototokos preeminence prominence excellence aboveness outstandingness extraordinariness when you meet an extraordinary person you have met a growing person and a grown person when you meet an excellent person you've met a grown person a growing person the gap between you and what you are looking for can only be filled with growth and by growth. The key to unlocking the greatness of the firstborn is growth. 
Let me say a few things about growth. Growth is the greatest debt you owe your life. Please write these things down. They came to me as meditation when God spoke to me about this message this morning. Spoke this message into my spirit. Growth is the greatest debt you owe your life. The scripture says you owe all men love. So the debt of love is what you owe others. But the, the debt of growth is what you owe yourself. Write it down. I owe my life growth. I owe my marriage growth. I owe my children growth. I don't owe my children the best of toys. If I afford, fine. I don't owe my children the best of clothes. When I afford, fine. But I, have, I owe my children growth. That is intentional and very systematic. Patrick Grace Henry is the president, Grace Family Commonwealth of Champions. Worship with us every Sunday in any of our services, Rising Stars Assembly by 7 a.m. and Champions Family Assembly by 9 a.m. Earth Live on Planet 101.1 FM and Spectrum TV at 10 a.m. Every Thursday for Word Power Encounter by 5 p.m. Venue Goshen, Kilometer 14, Wangiba Road, Ekamban Sukara, Uyo, Akwaibum State. Join our live streaming on Facebook, YouTube at Grace Family Outreach and on the Christ Radio app. You can become a part of this great revolution by becoming a partner today. To all our partners and friends, we say thank you. For partnership, please call 0907-383-8742. For prayers, counseling, and inquiries, please call 0818-043-3225 or 0803-671-5303. Grace Family, raising champions from ordinary people.